All right, here's a fun little Saturday afternoon project that I'm just calling the Julie Motor. And the reason I'm calling it that is Slider's wife, Julie, found these magnetic beads at a craft store. They're called Bead Treasures. It's about three, four dollars for a package of 50, 67 of them. And they're magnetized correctly to make a little uh, pulse motor. And uh, this is just a real simple, uh, like I say, Saturday afternoon project. Uh, extremely simple. It's just a uh, paper clip with that bead on it, which is magnetized correctly, not this way, but this way across the middle, with a make and break by bending the paper clip on one end and then just wrapping the wire from the battery around the shaft. You got a coil underneath uh, the rotating magnet and then an LED basically put in backwards so that when the coil field collapses it shoots a flyback backwards into the battery. Very interesting but uh, I'll just show you how this works. Like I say this is a, a real fun little Saturday afternoon project that you could do and uh, I'm just calling this the Julie motor and thanks Julie for finding these little beads I finally got around to making a little motor a uh, simple one just using the bead and that's just a couple of AA batteries and a uh, Radio Shack battery holder and then um, it's the top of a water bottle that plastic part right there and then the little bead goes through a paper clip shaft and there's a little make and break uh, switch right there where the uh, paper clips bent so it make and breaks the uh, contact and this LED goes off uh, with the flyback when the coil field collapses and shoots the energy back into the, the system. But anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. And like I say, it's a little fun little Saturday afternoon project if you want to do this with uh, simple to find parts. Uh, these beads, they had them at a Hobby Lobby. I think that's the name of the store. And you can look them up there. They're a magnetic imitation or simulated hematite is I don't know what simulated hematite is but anyway there's mildly magnetic enough to make one of these little pulse motors so that's the uh, that's the Julie motor and thanks Julie for finding that that was a good find